guys, it's Jess. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on today's video. Um, it has been a long time no see. I haven't filmed in basically a month and I really miss y'all. Um, the short version of where I've been is um, I've been in school and I've been going through a lot and it seemed like the best option to just instead of putting out like bad quality videos, I just decided to not for a little while and I think that was for the better says every person who makes YouTube videos ever, but like, you know, we're human, stuff happens. So I took a little hiatus, but I am back now to start aiming to post once a week, or at least once every other week, if nothing else, I don't like being gone for a month. But so since it's been a hot minute, I wanted to just do a little life update, tell you guys what has been going on this semester, because a lot has happened. Um, I want to tell you about my classes, tell you about my new job, tell you about all the things that are going on. And yeah, I just wanted to catch you up to speed on everything. If you're new here, I forgot to mention this, be sure to subscribe down below. I would love to have you join the Jam Fam. Um, if you want to, be sure to leave a thumbs up too. That would really mean a lot to me. So first off, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my classes. Um, I am a second semester freshman at the University of Texas at Austin. Hook em horns, love that. Oh, I love UT so much. Um, that is one thing that has been like constant through this whole experience. Um, like things get stressful, but like I love going to school here. Um, I'm a journalism major and so right now I'm in 12 hours. I really should probably be in 15, but I knew that like I was going to have things that were gonna like stress me out emotionally this semester and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna be smart about this and I'm just gonna take less classes, focus on my mental health, and then maybe we take another class over the summer or maybe double up, not double up, but maybe do like an extra few hours on a different time. It's all chill. But so, um, I'm in four different classes, four different three hour classes. So I am in um, digital storytelling. I am in um, fundamentals of PR, fundamentals of entertainment and art, or art and entertainment technology, and life of the community. And a lot of these are very communications-y classes. My digital storytelling class is my journalism class for the semester, which I'm really loving. It's been really fun so far because we're actually like making stuff. Um, Cause we made like an internet broadcast style video last month. Right now we are doing like an audio story and we've been talking a lot about podcasts. Um, pretty soon we're gonna do like an Instagram story, which I think is cool. I'm in PR, like an intro to PR class, which is interesting because ever since coming to college I've been very conflicted as to whether or not I want like a journalism type career or a PR career and then I'm like what should I major in based on that. Um, at this moment in time I currently think that sticking with journalism is like the best path for me because I think the skills I'm gonna gain will help me do either one and I really like it right now. I just don't know. It's hard to know this early on in the game. But then, let's see, my entertainment and art technology class is um, a class I'm like, not this specific one, but I'm required to have a visual and performing arts class. And so this um, class meets that requirement. It's online, it's been really fun. I've been liking it. Like it's not super hard or anything. It's also not easy. It's just like, one well, of those things where I'm like, okay, just do your homework and it's a good time. Um, and there's also been like creative projects in that, which I think is really fun. I got to make a GIF last week. Oh, oh wait, I think I'm gonna put it in here. Um, it's not very good, but it's like, I think fun for like the first time I made one. And then my last class is Life of the Community. And that is a class I'm required to take because I am the, in the movie honors program. And so that's just one of the classes we take. Um, it's been really interesting so far. Like it's different. I've never taken a class like it before but I do genuinely feel like I'm getting to know the people around me. One of the products of being in this class is I feel like I'm starting to meet more people in my honors class, which is really exciting to me because it's like full of like a bunch of really cool people. And so yeah, that's been really awesome. Another thing that I really wanted to talk about is that I joined an organization this semester. Um, I am a member of Communication Council at Moody, which is super cool. Um, my friends and I describe it as like student council in high school, but like actually getting a lot of stuff done. Um, and there's a really fun social aspect to it. Yeah, Communication Council, I don't know, I have a hard time explaining it to people, but um, we like vote on legislation, but then we also do fun stuff. Um, and we get to help make positive changes for our college, which I love. And I'm also on a committee because every member is required to be on the committee. So I'm on the media committee, which is like totally up my alley. I liked a lot. We did, um, this past week was like a big, <laughs> it's called Blacaw. It's big little call me appreciation week. That's long. 
We had a different event each day of the week and on Thursday, media committee got to help put on a photo shoot and it was so much fun. Like, uh, I love everyone in Calm Council so much and I'm having a lot of fun getting involved and so that has been really exciting. This next thing I think I teased in the beginning of the video and I mentioned that I got a new job, which is exciting, but for the 2019-2020 school year, I am going to be an RA. So basically, I'm gonna be a resident assistant, which means like you are one of the uh, students at the dorm who <laughs> is kind of like, not in charge, but like you have your hall of however many people and you're kind of like their go-to person. And so I'm really excited for that. Um, I have to work uh, certain hours in the office at the dorm I am at, and I also have to be like available all the time for anyone who might need me in my hall. I am really excited though because oh, I live at an all-girls dorm and I love it so much and I think it's a really cool opportunity to be there for these people because I know like, you know, it's weird when you go into college and you're just, I feel like initially I just feel like you're surrounded by freshmen and I hope that like even though I'll only be a year older than some of these people or some of these girls may be um, older than me, I hope to like be someone who's there for them. And so I think that is super exciting. I had to apply for it, I had to interview for it and um, it was kind of intense because there were not a lot of positions, but prayed about it. Things worked out the way I was hoping. Would have been fine if it didn't, but I'm really glad it did. Um, and it's also really exciting because this means I get my own room, which is like a little perk. And then two of my best friends are going to live in my hall and they are gonna room together. And then another one of my best friends is also an RA at the same place. And uh, her room is like in the hall right below mine. So it's like super cute and fresh, really happy about that. So those are like the big things I wanted to update you on. This past week, I've been working really hard on being productive and like focusing on both school and then my mental health. And so things I've started doing this week, I journaled, which was um, surprisingly really good. Everyone says you should journal and I never got into it. And this week I actually did journal, like I think I journaled three days and then stay I caught up on like the other three days I missed. <laughs> That's great. But um, I did catch up and it like actually is very um, cathartic. Like I felt very, I just felt like I was getting out all those negative um, emotions and then being like, oh, okay, they're gone, they're, they're done. So that was really awesome. And then I also deleted Instagram this week, which was a time. I think it was good, so then I wasn't like aimlessly scrolling. And one of my favorite YouTubers, Kenzie Elizabeth, talks a lot about just like going on these social media cleanses and I totally get it. Like I'm probably gonna go back on today to post something really quick, but I do think I wanna like stop because we were talking about Lent this week and I was like, I don't know if I want to give it up for Lent because I love communicating with some of y'all on Instagram. Um, I have people, sometimes you'll DM me and you're like, hey, just found your channel. And I'm like, hello, welcome, thank you. But yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna be giving up Instagram full time or anything, but I do think that by limiting my access to just like going on Instagram for 45 minutes or 30 minutes, I think that that is like the healthiest thing I can do. So I have like one more thing I'm gonna film after this, but I'm curious, I have like ideas for videos and I always have like ongoing projects I like am considering filming, but basically I wanted to know if y'all had any content that you really wanna see. Um, yeah, I know like I can do things like vlogs and I can do routines and there's lots of stuff I can do, but I was just curious what y'all would be interested in seeing. So if you have any ideas for me, please leave that in the comments below. Um, I love interacting with y'all in the comments. It's been a hot minute, but I do really try to respond to as many comments as possible. I think that's all for now. Hmm. I hope this was fun for y'all. This was just a little sit down chat, catch you up on what's in my life. Um, that's not like everything, but those are the main things I just wanted to share with y'all. Anyways, I hope y'all have an amazing week. If you enjoyed this, or if you even think you might want to come back again, subscribe down below. It's free. It's fun. You could always unsubscribe later, but that'd make me a little sad. <laughs> but yeah, if you like this, please leave a thumbs up. I would love that. But yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.